My name is Mark Bayer. I'm a group leader at DZNI, the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases, and PRECISE, which is a joint platform between the university and DZNI. And our role within the project has been to look at single cell transcriptomes and other omics technologies. So single cell omics is like looking into a smoothie. So instead of looking at the smoothie as a, as a soup of fruits, we are trying to deconvolute the parts of the smoothie, so really looking at the fruits and what quantity of fruits we're actually having within the smoothie. So if you translate that, we're looking into the immune cells in IBD and trying to understand what the roles of the different cells have on a single cell level. The main advantage of single cell omics technologies is that we understand on a cellular level what gene expression differences exist between healthy individuals and diseased individuals. So really being able to look at a single cell and really being able there to understand what pathology is happening within the single cell. One major achievement for us within Syskit has been the standardization of single cell omics technologies for an application in a clinical setting. So that's something we are currently doing for IBD. We are also trying to do that for neurodegenerative diseases. And that's been also a big part um, for us in our COVID studies that we've done over the last years. Our work of course, since the pandemic has been influenced by COVID and that has slowed down our progress of understanding the immune cell contribution to IBD. The achievements we had within Syskit, so the standardization of these technologies has helped us to directly use that technology to the emerging crisis of the COVID pandemic. And within the COVID time, we were able to use the technology to gain a better understanding how immune cells contribute, particularly to severe COVID cases. So we could show that some immune cells like neutrophils, T cells, but also NK cells, that these can influence the disease course and can lead to severe COVID cases, the in, in, impact on these cell types. What will come next on the one hand is this clinical application of the technology. So we really believe that looking at single cells in disease will help our understanding of the pathophysiology of diseases, but also in helping to develop classifiers for really understanding what patients could potentially benefit from certain therapies. That's going to be one, one major aspect. And the other aspect that we see are developments where single cell omics technologies will be applied to tissues and they're really looking at with the spatial resolution on, on these cells and understanding there where in a tissue certain immune cell types will be lying, how they interact with other tissue cells and how this contributes to disease. And that's particularly important if you think about diseases like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, where really this interaction between immune cells and the tissue plays an important role. For me personally, um, Syskit has been um, a really nice project because um, we got the chance to work together with a group of excellent scientists over Europe. And it helped us in improving the technologies that we have at hand. And I think we could also contribute to the project, also to the challenge that was imposed to us with COVID and I hope at the end um, we all will can help to improve patient outcome and potentially also develop new therapies um, for patients with IBD.